Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. It is Prophet Sharita Perry coming to you this evening with the 23rd Psalms Challenge. Praise God. Glory to God. Here for just to send and to spread and to share a word of encouragement in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Get your Bibles ready and let's dig right on into the word of the Lord. So the 23rd Psalms, go to the 23rd Psalms. I am reading from the King James Version of the Bible. So it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Hallelujah, somebody. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, forever. There's a blessing on the other side of allowing and submitting to the Lord today. Hallelujah, somebody. There is a blessing on the other side of obedience. There is a blessing on the other side of submission. There is a blessing. And there is anointings that are basically waiting for obedience. Hallelujah. It says the Lord is my shepherd. He is your guide. He is your leader. He is your conductor, your navigator, your captain, your pilot. Hallelujah, somebody. He is there to lead you and guide you and get you to a destination safety. Safe of in safety and safely because heaven, hallelujah, somebody is the goal. Heaven is the goal. It says, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So when I submit to the spirit of the Lord, there's a blessing, hallelujah, somebody on the other side of my submission. And not just only is there a blessing, but it says, I shall not want. See, I submitted to the spirit of the Lord and all of my needs are now met. He says, delight thyself also in the Lord and he will give me the desires of my heart. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thy own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Why the spirit of the Lord has been fluttering through my spirit for the, through the process of the day. And so I'm just like, okay, what direction are we going in, Lord? What direction are we going in with this today? What direction are we going in today? And the spirit of the Lord says, tell the people, tell the people just to say, fill my cup, fill my cup, fill my cup. I'm doing it five times. Fill my cup and fill my cup. Fill my cup, Lord, is what we need to tell the Lord today. Hallelujah. And see, the Bible says that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. So I might need to go get me a little journal so that I can open up my journal and say, okay, Lord, this is the area that I need some work on. Let me write it down. Let me map this thing out and let me talk. Let me rationalize this thing through and then let me hit my prayer closet and deal with this so i'm going to read the 23rd psalms and then after the 23rd psalms i am encouraging everybody to take two to three minutes even five minutes of prayer and just talk to the lord tell him what is on your heart tell him what is on your mind tell him what is in your spirit and you know, I'm going to possibly be doing a, a message on prayer and how to pray, effective prayer, because 
The one thing that we have to do when we are praying to God is we've got to pray in faith, not wavering, not in doubt, because when we are in doubt, that prolongs our blessings from manifesting sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. Sometimes God will show up and show out. And then there's sometimes God just kind of says, okay, well, they got to wait because, you know, they had a lot of opportunity to turn their heart to God, but they kept making, you know, choices to not serve God. So today we've got to say, fill my cup, Lord, fill my cup, Lord, fill my cup. What area do you have a void in your life? Are you dealing with abandonment from childhood, even in adulthood? Um, are you dealing from physical, mental, emotional stress or distress? And at the end of the day, you have got to say, Lord, I am stressed out mentally. Lord, fill my cup. Lord, I am stressed out physically. Lord, fill my physical cup right now in the name of Jesus. Because it says, and I'm going to, the, the, the Psalm 23, it says, I am going to restore your soul. It says, he restoreth my soul. In Psalms 23, verse 3, it says, he restores my soul. So fill my cup, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. There's a lot of stuff that is going on. There's a lot of people that are out here mistreating good people, godly people. And sometimes we've just got to go to the Lord in prayer and just say, Lord, fill my cup. Fill my cup and not just fill my cup, but today I need for you to lead me beside the still waters because I don't know if I can handle walking through the valley of the shadow of death today, Lord. I don't know if I can handle that. So you've got to say, fill my cup and not just fill my cup, but lead me on the path of righteousness. Hallelujah, somebody, for your name's sake, Lord. Keep me, guide me, direct me, navigate me so that I can dis basically stay away from the distractions and from the things that are draining me mentally, physically, and emotionally. Because sometimes, the, I, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, sometimes people are putting themselves into situations, circumstances, and relationships that are draining them. And sometimes we've got to get the voice of a person out of our head. Sometimes we've got to get the voice of our friends, our family members. Even sometimes you got to get the voice of your significant others out of your head so that God can lead you to peace, so that God can lead you to happiness, so that God can restore your soul and so that he can Fill your cup. Hallelujah. 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 For a full cup tonight. Hello, somebody. Fill my cup, Lord. Hello, somebody. So we need to ask God today. Say, fill my cup, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to tell the Lord to guide my steps, Lord, because the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So somebody needs to say, order my steps in your word, dear Lord. Keep me and guide me. Hallelujah, somebody. Bless me and, not, and keep me, not just myself, but Lord, bless and keep my family today. In the name of Jesus, bless and keep, lead, guide, and direct my children today, my grandchildren today. I don't have grandchildren, but for anybody that does, Lord, lead, guide, and protect protect my friends today in the name of Jesus. Restore them, Lord. Fill their cups, Lord. Hello, somebody. Pray an intercession for your people, for your people's people. Pray an intercession for those that are associated with you. Hello, somebody. Lord, hallelujah. Restore me. Restore my family. Restore my children. Restore my friends. Lord, introduce, show up and show out in some folks that I know that are not in the word of God, that are not saved. Show up and show out in their lives, in their homes, in their spirit. Hallelujah. And then when we, and, and when we get done with this, take time and pray and say, Lord, I am restored. Lord, my cup is filled. Lord, my steps are ordered by you. Lord, 
hallelujah somebody continue to pour into my spirit and i thank you lord for these things in the name of jesus today because i thank you lord for a filled cup i thank you for restoration and i thank you for leading and guiding me safely along my travels along my way and along my journey hallelujah somebody hallelujah somebody and hallelujah somebody somebody ought to praise the lord right now because deliverance is coming in the name of jesus your breakthrough is coming in the name of jesus your peace of mind is coming in the name of jesus your joy is, is coming in the name of jesus your happiness is coming in the name of jesus everything your heart's desires are coming in the name of jesus you've got to position yourself you've got to position yourself i hear the spirit of the lord saying position yourself to obtain and access the blessings of god today hallelujah hallelujah and hallelujah well it's time for me to close out I'm at my 10 minutes and over my 10 minutes, but I'm going to give you my six points to access and blessings in the name of Jesus. Number one, number one is obedience. Go to Deuteronomy, read the uh, first 15 verses of Deuteronomy, 13 to 14 verses, and you'll see that obedience brings the blessings. You'll be blessed in the city, blessed in the field. You'll be blessed in your goings, blessed in your comings. You'll be blessed in your financial situations, and your children and your offspring will be blessed. Hallelujah, somebody. Number two, faith. Faith is the substance of things that are hoped for and evidence of things that are unseen. Hebrews 11 and 1. So we've got to operate in faith without faith. It is impossible to please God. So we've got to have steadfast, unmovable, unshakable faith because faith is a verb. Faith is what you do. Faith is an action. So I've got to execute faith and say, I know that I've had some trials. I know that I've had some tribulations. I know that I have gone through some things. But because I am growing in God at another level, I'm telling the devil, not today, Lord, because I've got faith. I've got faith unshakable faith in the Lord today. Hallelujah, somebody. So obedience, faith, love. Love is the greatest commandment of all the commandments given by Jesus in the New Testament. Love. The Bible says love covers a multitude of sin. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Love. Greater love had no man than he laid down his life for his friend. Jesus came down and put on flesh to show us how to walk the walk, showed us how to talk the talk showed us that we've got to learn to go your way and sin no more. We've got to learn that once we get healed, delivered, and set free, we can't keep then, the Bible says that like a dog turned into his vomit. We can't keep going back and forth with sin. We can't do that. We've got to be steadfast and unmovable in our faith in God because he is just and faithful to do exceedingly abundantly all things but fail. He can do anything but fail. Number Four. Number four is prayer. We got to talk to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. And sometimes I talk to God, sometimes just like he is a regular person. They be like, that lady sitting there talking to her. So no, she ain't. She talking to God. And she might be telling God on you. I'm telling you my story one day about uh, this little, uh, I was working in an early childhood education environment and um the little guy was uh acting out very very severely so i just got to a point where i said you know what i said listen jesus i called the child's name out first and last and i said this child is really behaving today i said could you please come down and just touch him right now in the name of jesus because at some point i had to turn him over to the lord because it was just like the behavior was just unstoppable it was unstoppable. But anyway, so we've got to pray. we got to talk to the Lord. we got to tell the Lord about it. Tell him about it and let him fix it. Because the, like the songwriter says, Jesus will work it out. Jesus will fix it. Mm -hmm. God's got you. Hallelujah. And, and not just that, but you've got victory. Hallelujah. You've got the victory in Jesus Christ. So number, what was I on? Five. So number six, we've got to praise. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Hallelujah. Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Then we got to worship. Hallelujah. God inhabits the praises of his people. So we've got to stay focused and tuned to what it is 
that God desires from us to access a blessed life. And it is not as challenging as it may seem because maybe because I just was always like the square out of the bunch. So I was never enticed by, you know, all of the extra stuff because it's just like, no, let me go home and I'd rather read a book anyway. You know, I'd rather do this and no, I've been here enough. So I'm tired of this and I'm tired of that. So, you know, but be faithful to God. And he will be faithful to you because the Bible says, seeking you shall find, asking you shall receive, knock and the door shall open. He who seeks find, he who acts receives, he who knocks the door shall be open unto him. So as I close out, as I close out, my final words are, if you say yes to the Lord, he will say yes to you. I love you and God loves you. And there's a blessing on the other side of your yes. So. Say yes to the Lord today. Hallelujah, somebody. Because your blessings are already in progress. Your blessings are already on the way. Won't he do it? 